Colourpop. Okay, I see you. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Ohima. Welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, hey! Colourpop is one of those brands that whenever they started, they had like really, really matte lipstick. That's what put them on the map. The lipsticks were intense, they were pigmented, they were cheap, and they were so matte you needed a lip balm before you could actually like comfortably wear a matte ColourPop liquid lipstick. Many years since then, ColourPop now has a few other brands that are, I guess, babies of ColourPop. They're not sister brands, they're baby brands because their parent brand is ColourPop. Today, we're gonna be taking a look at the ColourPop Pretty Fresh setting powder face powder pressed powder the description on this reads like a powder foundation but somehow it, it also reads as a setting powder i i don't understand it we're going to be using it as a I am also going to be swatching the lip products from the ColourPop Valentine collection and we're also going to be using this very cute heart-shaped Valentine ColourPop blush. This is the one that I swatched out of all the blushes that I felt was one that I could use. So if you want to see the ColourPop Pretty Fresh face powder and the other products that I got in from ColourPop and you want to see what they look like on me, then keep on watching. Okay, y'all, before we, we jump into it, my face just feels dry today. So I'm gonna moisturize before we go in, okay? I'm using the mini Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. This is my absolute favorite skin moisturizer because it is hydrating okay so the color pop pretty fresh pressed face powders it says that feel flawless with this lightweight pressed powder that you can wear alone or to set and touch up foundation so essentially you can use it as a finishing powder a blotting powder or you can use it as the foundation itself so this is a three-in-one type of product it's sounding like it gives a healthy and natural finish super silky buildable creamy powder formula that blends down to a skin like finish you can use a pressed powder puff for a fuller coverage look or you can use a fluffy brush for a lighter coverage look it says that it has skin loving ingredients such as sunflower seed extracts cucumber fruit extract to help hydrate and soften skin so it's breathable powder never looks dry or settles in fine lines i'm gonna swatch for you i have four shades here that i can swatch for you i don't know exactly which shade i'm gonna use but i am excited to see this very deep shade in here so this is the packaging on the ColourPop pre fresh face powder on the back it tells you the shade of it and if, of course it says pressed powder i did take a look on the website to see if i would get a description on the undertones of these face powders but i don't have a description on the, the face powders essentially when it comes to their undertones so i'm just gonna swatch them and see which one looks good i'm gonna start with the deepest one which is deep dark 25 um i don't know how exactly i am going to Ooh, color pop okay i see you i mean at this point i feel like deep dark 25 is my shade <laughs> Listen, I have been staying away from ColourPop complexion products because the undertones were so red, I just decided to stay away from them in general. So I'm excited to see that the undertone on this is not looking red on me. That is a good thing, okay? Next we have the shade Deep Dark 23. This is 23. And last, I'm gonna swatch 21. Two deepest shades look like they're gonna work for me on some kind of level and i could definitely use 21 as my concealer powder if i want but i also have the shade 20 which i wasn't gonna swatch for you because i felt like it was out of our shade range but looking at what these pressed powders look like it looks like i can use the shade 20 as a setting powder for my concealer, especially in the middle parts of my face if I want to brighten my face a lot more. Okay, I'm just gonna use the shade 25 as my foundation shade. I will use the shade 21 as my blotting powder. Okay guys, I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. If you haven't yet seen my review on this primer, I will leave it down below so you can check it out after you watch this video. But this primer is very thick and it has a lot of grip to it. I really love how this primer worked with the liquid foundation. Now I'm really interested in seeing how it's gonna work 
with a powder foundation. I am going to use the shade Deep Dark 25 along with a brush and I am going to go into the brush and I'm going to stamp it onto my face. Wow. The only way that I'm able to tell that it's on my face is because it's modified my skin. But if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't have known that I have anything on my skin right now. <laughs> Do you guys see this? Look at the shine on my nose. Okay, now no shine on my nose what elf power grip primer has a lot of shine to it but i also feel like it is also the perfect product to hold on to a powder kind of complexion product now the way this product is, is looking it looks like it might be a little bit too cool for my skin tone the shade is kind of weird looking maybe because i just saw how it went over like a very shiny primer maybe that's why but it's looking a bit too cool maybe that's what i'm that's kind of like what i'm picking up right now um but of course it is a powder product i feel like i'm picking up like some slight kind of ashy tone to it i'm hoping that maybe once i apply the concealer it might look a bit different compared to how it's looking right now but as of right now although it matches my skin it's looking a bit I don't know what the word is. I want to say ashy. Without anything on top of it, it's looking a bit casket ready. How about that? I am going to go in with my Jaclyn concealer in the shade Rich Neutral. Okay, so next I'm going to go into this Colourpop Pressed Blush. This is the shade that I swatched that I feel like it would work well for me. It is a very pigmented blush so hopefully it doesn't overtake my look it is the only one that didn't come off like with a whitish kind of base to it so I, I just stuck with it and I think it looks good okay guys so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch the Colourpop Valentine's Day collection lipsticks for you guys this is the shade Smoochin that's not what I thought it was gonna look like at all. Okay, so this is a cream lipstick. It feels like a matte lipstick. It does not feel like a um, like a glossy type of lipstick, but it's not drying down into a matte lipstick. If that makes any sense, let me know down below in the comments. So next we're gonna swatch the shade Make Out. Okay, Colourpop, what is happening here? The two shades that I've swatched so far will definitely need liners for. Next we have the option Date Night. Hmm. Next, we have the shade Heaven. I don't know, okay? I don't know. And last, we have the shade Oh Baby. And just like that, my lips are stained. So this is the shade Oh Baby. I don't know if I'm gonna use any one of these in my final look, but those were the lip options. Okay, you guys, so this is my finished look trying out the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Pressed Powders. Um, along with the Valentine's Day blush and the Valentine's Day lipsticks. First things first, the Valentine's Day lipsticks are very, very much in need of liners. The blush obviously is beautiful, intense, gorgeous, showed up very, very nicely. And I really like that. It was the only blush out of all the other bl blushes that I swatched that actually showed up on my skin tone without leaving like a slight ashy kind of factor to it so i am okay with that blush the face powder i feel like the face powder that i use or the pressed powder that i use was a little bit too cool for my skin tone so i'm thinking maybe try the next shade up to see what it looks like whenever i put the concealer on it i still felt like it was presenting cool so i don't know i maybe i definitely definitely need to use a different shade for it to look better so that is it for me trying out a few new products from colourpop including the pressed powders blushes from the valentine's collection and the lipsticks from the valentine's collection let me know down below in the comments which cream lipstick was your favorite and let me know what you think about the pressed powders thank you guys so much for watching love you lots and i'll see you in my next video bye